Okay, here we are back in Legend of Heroes. Trails to Zero, Zero no Kiseki. Hello. Those bugs actually give decent water and time sabbath. Need to kill more of them. More. What the hell is this? Hmm, spider wasn't really that impressive. Okay, that was a different type of spider. Those give the higher elements, but not really many of the lower ones. Okay, I gave wind, but that was it. This way is... Someone seems like some kind of shortcut. Does it go in the direction of the mining village? Yes, it doesn't even appear on the map. For the time being, what we heard wasn't in this direction. Should we turn back? Understood. Let's do that. Ah! Damn it, Lloyd, you are no fun. Quick fight, that's why I did it. Ignoring the spiders back there, unless more appear right here. That was a single bug. We need to go up here for the loot. What's all guarding it? Fifty of the basic elements, and there's probably gonna be like fifty of the oh monster chest. Spiders. <laughs> That's not going to go off in time. Okay, they pack a bit of a punch. I was about to say, if that's instant death, this is utter bulk, you know. <laughs> Suckers can move. If they got the double turn, it would be extremely bad. So this is going to screw up the spell, but oh well. Hopefully there's something that'll get the cast time down later, otherwise... Ellie's probably gonna be as good as Shara was, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> Yeah. 
So I could have Lloyd kill for the Septium vein, but she needs the CP. Never mind, we get both. Plus the overkill. Crash Bomb. And you can see the various Sepith there. Two Reviving Bombs, not too bad in that regard. Engineer Boots. Those sound like something for Tio. Eh. Yeah, I'd rather give her that. She doesn't need to move as much since she's using a gun. Sad part is I'm not getting any U materials anywhere. To beast flesh. And we're through. There it is. That line of... that white line of hair. It's just like the legendary Divine Wolf. So it finally appeared. He's not gonna get away now. Let's hurry and pun it. Please wait. I do not sense hostility from him. Wow. Please leave this to me. What do we say, Dr. Doolittle? Hey. Idiot, what do you think you're doing? It'll be alright. I'm fine. We finally meet. Seems you've come to meet us, but... Is there something you want to tell us? Is that so? It's as I thought. Tio? You understand what it's saying? More or less, somehow I understand what he's saying. And what do you want to tell us? Then... Damn. He went to a place like that? Tia, what was he saying? It certainly seemed like he was trying to tell us something. You see, he only conveyed the nuance. The last fragment is ahead. The rest is up to you all. That's what he said. The last fragment? Yes, that's the impression I got. Whether we actually believe him or not is all up to you, though. Yeah, you don't even have to say that. The last fragment is ahead. In other words, does he mean that we that the last information we lack in the series of monster damage is there? Wait a moment. If the words to you heard are actually true, is it really alright to believe that wolf just like that? Yeah, they're the perps that attacked each place. Saying aside whether or not they're intelligent, isn't there a possibility he's trying to trick us? No. Somehow it seems it's very likely that the wolf just now was not the wolf-type monster that attacked those places. Hey now, what makes you say that? You see... The howl, the color, and the appearance... According to our investigation in the village and the hospital, there's no testimony regarding something like the howling we heard earlier. And according to intern Linton, it seems he was attacked by a wolf-like monster with a pitch-black appearance. Now you mention it, it certainly is pretty different, huh? Well, that may not be the case, it doesn't necessarily mean we conclude the monster earlier isn't the culprit, though. As their boss, he may be letting his subordinate black wolves do the dirty work. Because they act in packs, it's certainly a possibility. But if he's really not the same one, then it seems we need to change our thinking. It means there are two types of wolf monsters, and they each act in their own ways. That's exactly right. One on top of that, the earlier may be a divine wolf like the, white, like the wolves of legend. So it means that the black ones, which we still haven't pinned down, were the ones causing the trouble at each place, huh? I see. Makes sense. I feel the same. As for the one earlier, at the very least, I couldn't feel hostility from him. I agree, too. The last fragment is ahead. As for the ahead, do you think he was talking about the mining village? There's no mistake. Since we're already very close, let's proceed with our visit as planned. Understood. The rest is up to you all, huh? It doesn't really matter, but it's a rather self-important manner of speaking, isn't it? That's right. I think he was talking down to us just a little. That aside, I think we should continue our investigation until the end and not lose focus. Yes, I hope we find some kind of clue, though. 
So I was hoping the mining village was right here, but as long as there aren't any monsters. Got a fish fly from that. Eh? Yeah, that's something. Crap. Got another fish fly. Let's see right there. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother fighting that one. Over here. Not the most graceful by any stretch of the imagination, we get a reviving ball. Is there anything? Run! I was wondering if there was going to be a sparkly or something on the ground that I could have picked up for the hassle, but no. There's no reward for going over there. Okay, I'm starting to think this may be a much longer than normal video. Mains. So this is the septium producing area, mine, mining village mains, huh? Sure is in a pretty inaccessible place. Rather, our Morica village was the same. The gap between them and the city is pretty huge. That's right. Seems the orbitalization of the mine operations is more or less complete, though that black vehicle there. Could it be a truck for ore transport? Not as such. Don't you think it's got a strangely rough construction? It seems it's a special transport made by the Empire's Rhineford Corporation. It appears it's the latest model, too. If it's the latest model, then it must have a considerably high price. Maybe it's personally owned by the town mayor? That might be true. Either way, we need to first try visiting the town mayor. Should I ask him formally about the monster damage situation? Nothing to examine there. Can't go there. My, two pretty cool men. Something... No, it's nothing, mister. It's a mountain village called Mains. Please, take your time and enjoy your stay. Mister with the jacket here has a cute face and the tall one is cool. What's wrong with her? Getting stared at by a girl's not as bad as I thought. The van parked at the village entrance. Having such a nice vehicle, who could those persons from before be? As expected from the leading septium producing area of the continent. That's right, young miss. Yesterday you were able to do a good transaction with the town mayor Bixen. As a fair stand, even obtaining septium crystals is going to be just a matter of time. Yes, I was at a loss, but it's decided. I'll be staying here for a while. The young miss and I have come from the Empire to produce to purchase septium. However, recently monsters have been frequently appearing by nearby the town. I'm a bit scared. Did you come to purchase septium? Really, do you think you can win against my business transactions techniques? Nothing. This one's pretty nice. No 
never seen you folks. You come from Crossbow City? Still, you've come at a bad time. Lately, wolf-type monsters are rampaging in the area. We had the food storehouse in front ravaged too. Jeez, as there could be a bigger noise than this, and that's the wrong there. That's the possessive, not the uh, position or stating one. Hmm. So yeah, I'm sitting on a nice small fortune here, but I'm lacking in fire step of all things. Welcome. If you want to order, do it at the counter. What, have you got some business with me? If you want to order, could you do it at the counter? I'm busy with evening, evening preparations. So... Do the elevation, it's a little hard for me to keep track. Like, I'm trying to see, can I get anywhere over here? Like this one. Not here. Oh, maybe this is it. Huh? Voices can be heard from behind the door. What's wrong? Nothing, but it seems he's in the middle of something. Maybe he's having visitors? Do you have business with the town mayor? Yes, that's right. So this is the town mayor's home? Yes, that's right, but... You shouldn't enter now. Somehow it seems he's having a serious discussion right now. A serious discussion? Yeah, this morning the CGF pulled out, you know. Since they didn't exterminate the monsters, just when we were troubled with about what to do, it seems that the helpers came from the city. Could you be talking about... those bracers, right? I don't know that much, but it seems they're talking about monster countermeasures. I don't know what your business with the town mayor is. Wouldn't it be better to visit him later? What do we do? If he's in the middle of something, it can't be helped. We'll gather all the information we can and come again to visit the town mayor. Seems that's all we can do. Good grief. It seems things have taken a strange turn. So I figured the mayor would be up higher. <laughs> Outside the city, there's the entrance of a closed tunnel, right? Say it's an abandoned mine of long ago. I want to go explore it. Trying to go near there would only make the town mayor angry. In abandoned mines like that, it seems some kind of treasure is still sleeping there. I want to go explore. As for Crossbill, its dominion has been disputed between the Empire and Republic in the past. The biggest reason is the presence of this Septium producing mine. Nowadays, it's become the center of the financial business, but it's still undeniable this place is important in supporting the state. Between the Empire and Republic, there's a dispute on the Dominion. The biggest reason was the Septium producing capability of the mine. A miner living here was recently attacked by monsters. The wounds weren't serious, but it's to stay on the safe side, he's taking a rest. I want to rest too. I mean, I want to slack. Shouldn't it be the other way around? <laughs> Being able to rest with those w with wounds like those is nice. I want to slack too. You see, recently my husband got attacked by a monster while coming back from work. The wound is nothing serious. He should just think something like, "I'm lucky to get some rest." He was assaulted by a monster at night. No one could have defended. He should just think something like, "I'm lucky to get some rest." Jeez, I should have, I've shown something pathetic to my junior. Everything. It's all that strange wolf bastard's fault. Next time he shows up, I'm gonna beat him senseless with my shovel. Because of that strange black wolf, I won't be able to go to work for a while. Next time he shows up, I'm gonna beat him senseless with my shovel. Hmm? Oh, um, for a second there, I thought it was responding to something on the shelf, but... Oh well... So that's the inn. If we go up here, this is the general store. Let's take a look inside. Nothing there. Helping, helping. Daddy's scary to the townspeople, but to me, he's kind. Daddy's kind to me. He's telling me about not being scared. So I'm hoping that office pop up didn't show up, but I can't tell. Literally, the fact that 
monster and whatnot are loitering around the area. It gets me mad. I also got someone who was attacked by them and got hurt. Besides, if something happened to my Kimmy, they'd never get away with it. We also got someone who was attacked by the monsters and hurt. And then he just repeats that. Nothing in there that I saw worth getting. Nice little view, but like I don't see the point of the structure. Children always want to enter dangerous places. That's troublesome. Hope he hasn't entered the mine again, been a bother. Recently, with monsters appearing inside the town, I feel so insecure. Wish he'd be more careful. When it comes to Alec, he always wants to enter dangerous places. That's troublesome. Wonder why all boys like that kind of dangerous places. Not the best grammar, but hey. This place seems like it's the entrance to the main's mine. It's locked. Might be on their guard since the wolf-type monster incident occurred. So, do we go back to the mayor's now, or to the inn? Well, the answer's that. See you, town mayor. Please think about it. We'll come ask you about it again tomorrow. Ah, it's those troublemakers. Just another little push. Seems we'll be able to get a bonus with this. Ravash subordinates, to think they'd appear in a place like this. Hey now, why the hell are they here? They're certainly more troublesome than bracers. Yeah, you're right. Huh? That truck, it was theirs then. They do indeed have the latest Empire-made vehicles, but just what business could the Mafia have in a mining village? Right, I don't imagine them acting outside of the city quite at all. For now, let's try asking the town mayor about it. The opportunity we could find out what the Mafia has come here for. Mayor, you're getting help from all the wrong places. So you've come again. What? Didn't I just say I didn't? I can't decide immediately. You should withdraw for two. You should have withdrawn for today. Huh? My, you're the people from just now, aren't you? Excuse me. Excuse us. We're sorry for coming in at such a busy time. Well, I don't particularly mind. You all are. Crossbell Police Special Support Section. We wanted to ask you about the monster damage incident. I see, so you're the city police, are you? I thought you were newcomers from the Brazier Guild who would come to visit. We get told that a lot. So, we asked many things to the townspeople, and it seems that vicious damage are continuing to occur, is that right? Up till now, there have been three separate damage incidents. They were all at night, and although no one was hurt at first, yesterday we had our first casualty. We were lucky he suffered only minor injuries, but the degree of damage is getting steadily worse. So everyone in town has ended up being considerably afraid. Is that so? When the Guardian Force Patrols came, nothing happened? Exactly right. Somehow those wolves seem quite cunning. But the CGF is the CGF. To think they'd abandon us, even though they didn't solve anything. Don't you guys think so too? Yes, yeah, certainly. Seems various things have happened. By the way, didn't you ask for help from the Bracer Guild? The truth is, before the CGF got here, we put in a request at the Guild once. It's just that those guys are so busy that they can't come help us. 
There's no way they can guard us daily, and in the end, the CGF was dispatched, but... Even so, the CGF suddenly withdrew this morning. When it rains, it pours. Because I had nothing more to lose, I was thinking of trying to ask for help once again at the guild, but... That's when those guys showed up. You're talking about Ravash and Co. What'd those guys talk to you about? You see? Now that the CGF is withdrawn, they offered to be our bodyguards in their stead. Monsters could come at any time, they said. Bodyguards? You see, they're not doing it for free, are they? No, seems they're not planning on collecting Mira. Instead, they want a, monop a monopoly on Septium transactions during this time. Septium transaction rights? But no mistake, the state has been mining rights themselves. has the mining rights themselves, right? Yeah, in order to not mine too much, we have to stick to the government-mandated quantities. Because there's an international market for Septium, excessive business can't be done. It's just... The decision of who to let purchase our Septium is left up to the discretion of this town. So to them, this would become a business to correspond for their labor of bodyguards. But still, we have partnerships with traders we're acquainted with. We're really... we're just really in trouble about how to deal with this matter. Is that so? Good grief, you've gotten tangled up with some strange folks and things are starting to look troublesome. Town Mayor, if possible, can you let us handle this incident? Perhaps we could be able to solve it. Mr. Lloyd? You said you're the Triple S, right? Is it really alright to leave something like this in the hands of the city police rather than the CGF or the Bracers? Please leave this to us. If it goes quickly, I think we can have this resolved by tomorrow. Lloyd, is this alright? You promised such a thing. Then we understand there's two types of wolf monsters. Just in a day or two, can we really manage exterminating the black ones? No, we don't necessarily need to exterminate them. From the start, our rules to make clear the inexplicable parts to the CGF records, correct? Now that you mention it, before we notice, the topic changed to something about the monsters themselves. And so I have a proposal. Like that white wolf told us, I think all the clues have been put together. Why don't we try to have a meeting about the incident this time? That's right, we may need to put everything together. Alright then, it's already evening, should we head back by bus? No, let's stay in this town today. We could have our meeting in the guest room. Then... Mr. Lloyd, could it be? Somehow it seems you've realized something just like in the downtown incident, haven't you? Yes, though I'm not very confident yet. If it's alright with you, I'd like your help sorting through the evidence at the meeting. Yes, let's hurry and get a room at the inn. Now then, let's begin to sort out the situation. This time we have a series of monster damages. In the CGF report we received at the start, there were many unclear points. Though, through our investigation, we brought to light several of those unclear points. To be honest, there's an information that should be confirmed, but it's not clear yet. An information that should be confirmed? What's that? What they're doing. The information that's normally ascertained in a line of investigation. That is the monster's objective, I think. Yeah. Think about the damages at the hospital. It doesn't seem like they were they made those attacks because they were hungry, does it? According to the Armorica village chief, there's the possibility that the legendary divine wolves are warning us, but it's likely that those black wolves are the ones that actually made the attacks. I think that's right. If that's the case, and we certainly have completely no idea as to their objective. Yeah. But it's too hasty to judge these events at the whim of the as a whim of the black wolves. Though it applies only to the hospital case, they must have used an extremely clever route to reach the roof of the hospital. They left without causing damages and more than necessary injured. Certainly. I think it might be too careful to call it a simple whim. Especially we aren't seeing at all any objective that we should be seeing. In other words, there's some meaning in that, right? That's exactly it. In these kinds of cases, there are many in which people generally stick to a single framework. The Black Wolves attacks on each place. I think there should be a different framework which could show us a satisfactory objective. A different framework, you say? It's nothing complicated to think of. Generally, crime incidents involve four things. The criminal, the objective, the means, and the result. What do you think would happen if we shifted some of what we have? Wait a second. I'll try to put them together in an easy way. 
The criminal are the black wolves, the objective is unknown, the means are the wolves' abilities, and the result is each, dam each location's damage. That's the gist of it. How do we shift them? What about this? Which one corresponds to the criminal? So, is it really the wolves? The objective is the ability, maybe? The means being the black wolves, and the result being the damage. There's no mistake, this is it. This is... going with this for now. Rather than the wolves being the criminal, they are the means, and their abilities are the objective. Hey now, you completely changed the viewpoint. That means there's a possibility humans are behind the wolves' actions. If they're able to manipulate monsters, it's only natural to think that. The problem is the method to take several wolf-type monsters and control them. Recently, I can think of a certain character whose testimony may us able to guess at the method for controlling them. A certain character's testimony? I see, it's that, right? As expected, you noticed, huh? Yes, that witness is... Clearly, Harold Hayworth. Just kidding, it's Shizuku. It was the testimony of that bracer's daughter. And in case you're wondering, she's the way you can tell that the criminal is unknown because there was someone whistling to control the wolves or something like that. So then you just had to kind of film the other ones. Shizuku's testimony. You see, I was worried about it, and when I listened, when I opened that window and listened carefully, on top of that, I didn't hear screaming. Instead, I heard a ha 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 sound similar to breathing. After doing that for a while, I heard it sound like jumping. And you see, it was when that other sound was still going on, but somehow. I felt... I feel like I heard a faint ding sound. I thought it was a whistle, not a bell. Could it be... is that sound manipulating the monsters? I would say that's likely. Wolves are beasts like dogs. It seems they can hear sound frequencies humans cannot. It seems there have been special flutes to exploit that since in the past. The so-called dog whistle, huh? Even now there are skills to control war dogs with dog whistles. Rather than the pro rather than the proper regular armies. Those Jaegers are the ones who use them often. Is that so? I see. I'm starting to see the outline. If that's the case, then there's the need to transport the wolves when they move. Could it be... Yeah, it's probably as you imagine, Ellie. I think I can substantiate what I'm thinking. Tio, can the Enigma's communication function be used, even in this town? Yes, if it's somewhere in Crossbell State, you might be able to get through somehow, but... Can we call him somewhere? Yes, the Medical College Reception Desk. Yes, yes. I see, yes, thank you very much. How is it? It's as you imagined. The night the wolves appeared on the roof, it seems a Ravashenko truck was parked in the parking lot. It seems they came to hard sell at high prices medical equipment. Their timing is really too good. But Lloyd, how'd you figure out their truck was parked in the lot? Could it be that... Could it be they came with the vehicle late at night before the hospital and made them attack? No, if that was the case, Shizuku would have heard the truck sounds. At first I thought that the monsters had come from the bushes, but... Aside from on top of the wooden box there, the monsters didn't leave any footprints. On the contrary, they scratched the handrails facing the parking lot. The possibility that they entered from there is quite high, isn't it? I see. The roof was elevated facing the lot, and I didn't think they could enter from there, but... Like this, if they wouldn't top the truck, then they could freely trespass anywhere, right? Their preparations were thorough. Everything is connected somehow. Yes, their objective is the Septium Business Monopoly. Could that just be an extra? Probably. The Mafia are putting effort into obtaining the battle power to overwhelm their rival organization, the Hayway. If they plan to use those wolves as their battle power, then... Monsters that do nothing but crazy would be completely useless in combat. You need sufficient testing of whether they can be controlled. Is that the truth of the monster's damage in those places? No mistake. To begin with, the Mafia's visit itself immediately after the CGF's withdrawal is extremely unnatural, right? The CGF commander who gave the order to withdraw may be tied to an influential congressman. Don't you think they made the necessary arrangements through that congressman? Probably. I thought they were corrupt, but to think they'd go that far... And... do you think they're going to continue further? Considering the monsters live live combat tests, it should be enough. The fact that CGF was made to withdraw, I think it's a reverse state, implying that they've got no 
intention of causing further dis disturbances. It's just that somehow it seems their movements this time were unnecessarily ambitious. The Septium Business Monopoly. If they want that, could they be planning to move one last time? As far as I can see those guys' attitude, I'd say it's very likely. If they're going to attack, then win. Tomorrow. It's likely the town mayor will contact the guild. To follow through on their threat, I can't think they their attack their target won't be at tonight. Their attack won't be tonight. Alright, let's do this. We're going to drive away those black wolves and restrain the mafia, correct? As expected, we can't overlook this. Maybe it should be better to contact the CGF too. No, if the CGF acts, then through the congressman I suspect the mafia are liable to notice. We have to try this alone somehow. Understood? If the monsters appear, it'll probably be late at night, right? Yes, all the incidents up until now have occurred late at night. There's still some time left. Shall we go over our preparations? That's right. If there's something we're short on, let's resupply. Once we're ready, let's stand by in this room until late at night. So I do need to look at stuff in the market. So, examine the exclamation point to move forward. I'm just gonna hop over real quick. See you in a sec. My husband's been depressed ever since morning. Hope his wounds get better soon. And that's a repeat. Not sure as long. I've already read the book I bought. If you like it. Would you like to read it? In that case, I'll give it to you. So, Back Alley, Dr. Glenn, Part 3. And some of the other lines are different, but nothing really stood out to me. Unless I missed something somewhere. So, only thing left to do now is to move the storyline forward, but I will be needing to take a break before we get to that part. So, I will see you guys when I'm ready to move forward. Okay, so I'm back to wrap this up. We will stand by. Alright, let's stand by here until late at night. We have to decide a plan and arrangement for when the monsters will appear. Simply driving away the monsters is no good, am I right? Yes, we have to pin down the Mafia, manipulating them as well. Seems like a pretty difficult mission, doesn't it? I think I drank too much. Got it's got late, eh? Town mayor told us to head back early, you know. Yeah, you mean what you said about monsters? They'll not from visiting the casino and kept digging in the mines every single day, man. Cut me some slack and let me have a couple of drinks at least. Every weekend you go to the casino and drown, or you go to the city and drown yourself in the casino. And since they milk you dry, you're one of their regulars, eh? Shut up! I'm just saving my money for the casino. Just you watch. We make it big at the roulette next time and win everything back. Huh? That sound just now. The hell? Could they be the wolves? Stay away from me. Help us, Scottus Idios. You guys, cover up your eyes if you can. What the? What's that just now? Stun grenade. Guess it's kind of useful against trained puppies, too. You guys... From this morning? We'll talk afterwards. Please take shelter in the inn. Yeah. What's going on? Well, that's unexpected. Guess they could be a pain in the ass to handle. Alright, let's take them on here and now. So with that behind us... That's actually a weird starting formation. Huh. Um, with this behind us, one of the things that I did want to mention was that... I plan to have all the side quests in a single video. But when I started editing everything, I realized, yeah, this is going too long. So I don't know if the final side quest is going to be in this video, if they're going to be in two different videos, how it's going to work exactly. So I'm trying to get them all together. Yes. 
いきます。Le. With the name Beam, I usually think it's like linear, but it's not. So I'm doing this for the crit. I need to scan them still. They're getting a little closer. Damn it! Plan B. Get down there. Actually, now that I think about it, he's. Wow, Randy's turn is a while off. Can't see their weaknesses just yet. Okay, that's good. One of them is gonna heal. I'm hoping it's not this one. Beast Flesh Reviving Balm resists quite a bit. No weaknesses. Mafia War Dog with Iron Armor. Seriously. So right here I'm contemplating, do I want to have her heal? That does mean they get the crit turn unless I can steal that somehow. I can gamble that they're gonna miss. Damn you! Seriously! Oh my god, at least they're all together, but Randy's not gonna get a turn before I can take advantage of this. I was hoping that this had a stas effect attached to it, but... Jeez, Randy's not even getting any turns anymore. Oh boy. Heal him. Eight he delay. Like, there should be a freaking limit, man. This is insane. Okay, the blind is finally kicking in. Wrong thing. I'm guaranteed to hit two of them here. So yeah, this is the one that's going to move. Okay, notice there's finally someone behind Randy. That's very likely to change, but yeah. 
And that one actually did decent damage. There we go. He's back at the end. So yeah, it's very likely she could die here unless I just use a healing item instead. Goes for Andy. So no more turns for him. Kinda need Ellie to get these because you know she's almost out of EP. And no, she didn't really do that much. The characters have really small EP pools in this game. It's like they don't really get that much from opening their ornament. Oh, there he goes. He got his final turn. They sure were a handful to deal with. Now that I take a close look, they more they look more like dogs than wolves. So they are trained war dogs after all. Still got some stamina left, huh? No worries, follow them. They'll probably run back to where the Mafia men are. Right. What? Hey, why are you guys back so early? You were given the order to attack the townsfolk, but... What's wrong with you guys? Aren't you back too early? Freeze. What? You guys are... Crossbell Police, Special Support Section. You me are men of Ravashenko, aren't you? You're under arrest on charges of property damage and assault. The police? Why are they in a place like this? The Special Support Section. The ones against whom Fabio and the others committed a blunder. They're the kids who interfered with our plans in downtown. Somehow it seems they remembered our name. Should we think of this as an honor? Whatever. What rash policemen were going to have to punish you here? Seems to take good care of our friends before, huh? Top of that, seems you've taught a lesson to our war dogs. This is just perfect. We'll have you apologize to us here. So you're resisting, huh? That's my line. Get ready. They made them recover with a drug? This too means to be pros. I'm trying to think of what that would mean exactly, or something like this is expected of a professional, maybe? Attack. Snap at their throats. Here they come. Don't go easy on them. Hear that Lloyd sanction or police brutality. We're golden this time. Hatchet and rifle. The thing that sucks is they are fully healed while we're not. Yeah, those will take too long. Hey, we got a blind going. So now we have to see if they give Randy an indefinite delay. Ravage member skill at close combat using a hatchet and emergency heals too. Oh, 
You had one job, Randy, and that was hit all of them. Not most of them, all of them. You deserve that, Randy. Think about what you've done. Can I still hit three? Yes. I think I get all five with this. Nope, just four of them. So notice Randy's turn. Never mind. We're talking Lloyd's turn. You missed. Get him, boys! Quick, before the people with the cameras show up. So notice the uh, blind and the seal. Status effects that are in your orbit can still apply during those, which is why they're so damn broken. And yeah. Calls for backup. Well, buddy, you're next. Pew pew! Oh my god, Ellie, you had one freaking job. Aw oh, man, she can't reach. See if I can finish these two off. My one concern is that this may not be the end of the chapter. Like, if it is, I just go ham and try to finish him off. I can steal the healing turn, which I kind of do need. So right here I want to deny the uh, crit turn from him. And to do so I'd have to steal the heal turn. Bad dog. Kills. <laughs> the EXP reward wasn't really that great. 
Sepeth is pretty nice. Got Tira Balm that replaces the one I used. Got two Beast Flesh or Reviving Balm. As expected, they were fierce. Can't believe they can control dogs like those. They have considerable skill, don't they? This can't be happening. To be beaten by kids like these. Further resistance is futile. We'll deliver you to the CGF tomorrow morning. Well, you'll be staying in the warehouse tonight. We'll take the responsibility for staying watch over you. Wait. As if we'd let you get away? Don't misunderstand. Since things are like this, then we have to use that. So is this when the Divine Wolf shows up as reinforcement? There were more? Damn. Ten of them, huh? There really are too many. We've turned the tables on you, huh? You'll pay back. We'll pay you back for making fun of us. At least we'll spend some time tormenting you. At this rate, we're in trouble. If it's like this... Have you said your prayers to the goddess? Let's begin our fun torture time. What? What? That's... it's the White Wolf. I see you brought friends. You guys, what are you scared of? Just by numbers, there's no way we can lose. Don't put your tails between your legs. Well, that's the difference between the real deals and your fakes. You can say that again. No way a dog could win against a wolf. Somehow they look like they're angry for having had their name disgraced. Or maybe they came to make them pay for what they've done. This time, it's over. We're arresting you on charges of property damage and assault, as well as obstruction of performance of public duties. Them showing up was so predictable. As expected, he realized. Who might that Mr. Wolf be? He doesn't seem ordinary, though. But those Misters, too, don't follow through. If those Mr. Wolves hadn't saved them, I wonder what would have happened. You'll have a hard time going. Well, they're just beginners. My. So you came, too. Might you be here to help them with anything beyond their current abilities? Sword Saint of Wind, Arios McLean. You too, Society of Ouroboros Enforcer. Number 15, the Angel of Slaughter, Ren. I hadn't even introduced myself. Seems you've refused the promotion to S rank, right? Honestly, it's nothing more than a rank. It's just that the expectations of a replacement for Cassius Bright are more than I can bear. I wonder about that. Though Ren only met Cassius Bright once, but... With your skill with the sword, you might be able to outdo him, you know. That's right, I feel you're on par with the strongest man I know. Should I say that's an honor? These past several months, I've caught wind of your sojourn in Crossbell. At first I thought you might be planning a tea party, but... So you don't know yet. Even if Ren doesn't hold a tea party, Crossbell is plenty stimulating, isn't it? Moreover, there's no refinement in doing pointless amusements. I'm relieved to hear that. So it seems you're staying crossbells due to your personal circumstances, then. But... Just how long do you plan to keep running from them? Anyhow, I have no intention of interfering in your fate. 
The fact that you can that they've come to Crossbell is of great help to me personally. But you can't keep running from the answer that's right in front of you, you know. Leave me alone. And the fact that Ren is here isn't just because of Estelle and Joshua. I'm repairing him as well. And there's something I have to check on. Something you have to check on? It has nothing to do with you. I'll promise to be good, so please leave Ren alone. Of course, you won't say anything unnecessary to Estelle and Joshua. Understood. As long as you don't do wrong in this land, I swear not to interfere with you unnecessarily. Thank you. Then Ren will be going now. Have a good day, Mr. Sword Saint of Wind. A lost kitty, huh? But at this rate, both she and they will continue to be lost. If there is some third party to bring them a good chance, or possibly... That'll never happen. Amazing, everyone. To think you saw through the situation and solved it just like that. Honestly, I was surprised. Though, if possible, I wanted to call I wanted you to call us before the fighting started. Sorry about that. I just now thought about the possibility that the Mafia has gained its information from the CGF commander. It's painful to hear that, though. What would you guys have done if those white wolves hadn't saved you? You see? Honestly, I think it would have been dangerous. In a situation like that, you should have discussed with Sergei or spoken directly with me. There are many ways to do things. Though there are certainly various difficult problems facing Crossbell right now. Trying to solve them all on your own is nothing more than simple conceit. Yes. I have nothing to say to that. Well, I think this is all for your scolding. Truly, thank goodness you're all safe. And I thank you for resolving the incident in our place. Vice Commander. It's a little creepy hearing that officially. By the way, Vice Commander. What should we do with the White Wolves that saved Lloyd and the others? Seems our suspicions were completely unfounded. I think it's fine to just leave them be, but... I think things will be alright. They do not seem stupid to cause unnecessary troubles. So it seems. However, in that sense, it means the humans were the stupid ones. To think that they were causing an uproar in those places as, a part, as part of a war dog live combat test. Just because they have backing, they took us lightly. Yes. Since they've caused this much damage, so I thought they won't be able to talk their way out this time, right? As expected, is there a possibility of bail? Yes, a high one. Up until now, we've exposed the Mafia smuggling near the border, but each time that happens, they exert pressure on us and end up being bailed out. On the contrary, the smuggled goods are returned under false pretenses. How sloppy. So the situation's the same even at Belgard Gate. But, there aren't only corrupt people. In a situation like this, if everyone gives up, then Crossbell will really be in dire straits. Thinking that way, there's some pe there's some people doing as much as they can by themselves. People like you. You're probably right. Then I'll be looking forward to seeing what all you can do. Come now, I'll take you all to Crossbell City in my vehicle. Noelle, get ready to head out. Sounded like she said mom. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. We practically pulled an all-nighter. I'm already at my limit. Anyway, once we get back, let's all take a nap first. We'll report to the chief after that. Yes. Huh? Hey, thanks for the hard work. Chief, what's the matter? Could it be that you came out to welcome us? <laughs> like I would do something so disgusting. It's just that I've heard about everything from Sonya via phone. You guys work quite hard for your first field activity. Thank you. He's complimenting us, right? 
So, what are you doing here, Chief? For a smoke after breakfast, aren't you in a weird place? Can't help it, you know. Can't calm down and have a smoke if that one came suddenly visiting. That one? Did someone come? Not sure. Most likely a guest for you. I'd say that the guest is strangely friendly or impudent. Anyway, he's inside, right? Let's go in. What? Huh? Why? A friend of yours, as I suspected? Well, after it suddenly entered, I produced my gun without thinking, but... Didn't even bother. After he lay sprawled there over there, it was hard for me to do something, you know? How did you... Why are you in such a place? <sighs> Tia, what is he saying? My name is Zeit. Thank you very much for clearing up the false accusations against us. Or so it seems. Zeit. He came to thank us. Be that as it may, he seems to give quite the airs. What's wrong? You see, however you are young and quite unreliable, since it can't be helped, I will give you a hand for a while. I will help you if I feel like it. What? Hey, hey, hey! No need for concerns. I have left the pack to a subordinate so everything should be fine. That's not what I'm worried about! A legendary divine wolf, eh? Looks like you've won the favor of quite a queer one. Chief! For the time being, I'll overlook him as a police dog. And from here on, it'll be fine letting you decide how to associate with him. I'm off to bed again. Chief? That's become bothersome. Will it be fine? I agree with the Chief's decision. It appears he is reliable. And more importantly, don't you think this fluffy white live hair is charming? I can't deny it. Maybe you could think that we've earned a reliable helper. You're right. Anyway, it could be bad leaving him like this, so should we buy him a choker somewhere? That ends the first chapter. I think it was called Afternoon of the Wolves or something like that. So I didn't get any reward for that. I mean, I got bonus points, I guess, but I don't know what... Let's see, can I find out how many I'm supposed to get? I think that might actually be the max. Uh, Will to Advance unlocked. And if you're worrying about the name, Afternoon of the Sacred Wolves, you can also see... Yeah, you can see the date that I'm playing this on. Or my last save. So, I'm going to drop the file here, put a break in the video, and then I have to figure out how I'm going to edit all this stuff. There's going to be two videos before the end of the chapter, if it's all going to be one. But otherwise, that is it for now, folks. I am the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.